Man, now an I-Team investigation tonight in our troubled economy. What kinds of businesses are thriving? Nonprofits. Just last year, the IRS approved another 68,000. But while most nonprofits are out there doing good, others are just taking advantage of the tax breaks. The I-Team's Roberta Baskin has found some charities that do more good for themselves than for their cause. She's here to tell us about that. It's true. One of the most popular categories now is breast cancer. There are more than 1,700 of them. The I-Team studied IRS forms filed by nonprofits, and a Maryland charity stood out. This is the headquarters of the American Breast Cancer Foundation. Its stated mission is to provide funds for research and education for breast cancer patients like Daniela Branzaforte. When you see breast cancer and foundation and American together, it, um, I guess it pushes all the buttons, you know. And the American Breast Cancer Foundation does push those buttons. It raised $15 million for the cause in just the last year. But how much of that money actually goes to research? According to CharityWatch.org, out of every dollar raised, a mere three and a half cents is actually spent on cancer research. And 79 cents of every dollar donated goes to fundraising, asking for more money. I think our work is very successful, and I'm very proud of the work that we do. Phyllis Wolf is the president of the nonprofit American Breast Cancer Foundation. It's nonprofit, but someone's making money here, and that is Phyllis Wolf's son, Joseph. He owns a for profit company, oddly named Nonprofit Promotions. According to IRS forms, Phyllis Wolf paid her son eight million dollars in the last two years to raise money for her foundation how much does he make what's his salary i do not know those answers he's a vendor i don't i don't know those answers you don't know just how like he makes. no i don't um just like any other vendor he's a vendor he's also your son <laughs> we don't discuss that <laughs> Apparently, Joseph Wolf doesn't want to discuss that either. We called and stopped by the office, but no one ever responded. Phyllis Wolf defends her son's fundraising costs because he includes information pamphlets in his mailings. But that's not enough for CharityWatch.org, which evaluates nonprofits. It points out reputable nonprofits like the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which gets an A rating for giving 87% of its budget to medical research. But the similarly named American Breast Cancer Foundation gets an F. Did you know that you got an F? No. No, I didn't know that. To know that, you know, people are capitalizing on this is, is really a horrible thought. You feel victimized twice. There's talk in Congress, as always, to tighten up loopholes for nonprofits. But if you want to know if your charitable dollars are going to good use, log on to WJLA.com. The I-Team, we have links to charity watchdog groups that can show you the best use of your charitable dollars. So bottom line, nonprofit doesn't mean that somebody isn't making some money. That's mm -hmm. calling. All right. All right. Thanks for